say hi, Miracle. Say hi. Say hi to the people of YouTube. What up, people? Uh, we just got back from... it. Well, not we, she was at home, but I just got back from a date night with Anastasia. And um, we did an event together. Actually, she organized it. Ooh, there's something in your eye. Let me get it out. There you go. And um, I realized one thing and I wanted to talk about. And it's, um, you know, these moments where you're in a room with people who are all way smarter than you. And everyone's saying smart fucking things, you know, and you're just sitting there in the corner and like not saying anything, just listening and, you know, just feeling like you can't really add anything to the conversation because you're not as smart as everyone else is and you kind of feel bad about yourself about being so stupid and um, and I wrote something down and it's that if I'm the person talking the least I'm the person learning the most because think about it if you're talking if you're sharing things that you know then you sound smart to other people if obviously whatever you know is actually, you know, advanced or whatever. But you're not learning anything new. You're just, you are, you're maybe helping other people, which is obviously amazing. Um, maybe, um, maybe you're not helping other people. Hopefully you, you, you're sharing, sharing with the intent of, of helping other people. Um, but you're not learning something new, right? And so... If you're the most stupidest person in the room, is stupidest even a word? I don't know. I might have just proven my point. Um, that means that you're learning the most. Same with what I also wrote down was if I'm the most uncomfortable in the room, I'm the person growing the most, right? Because... Um, we did a reading event where everyone has to kind of read something and present something and share something that they read or wrote themselves. And so I read a, a, a page out of Man's Search for Meaning, the book, and I was so uncomfortable. Well, not so uncomfortable, but I was uncomfortable doing it. I was like, I'm just reading a page out of a book in front of like six people, I think. And they all did it, and they maybe even share things that they personally wrote. And I am the most uncomfortable person here. Like, why is everyone so comfortable with it? And, like, on, you kind of want to feel bad about it, right? Because you're like, why, why am I uncomfortable with such a tiny, simple thing while all the other people seem to not be uncomfortable with it and just, you know, be comfortable? And, um... You can find a lot of comfort comfort knowing that you might be the most uncomfortable, but that means you're growing the most because you're challenging your status quo the most, right? And in the same token, I want to go back to that phrase more often because, again, there's a lot of comf comfort knowing that if you're talking the least, you're learning the most. And in the moments where you feel you are the most stupidest, you're the most stupid person in the room, that means that you're catching up the fastest because you're learning the most. So yeah, that's just two things that I wrote down today after that event. I also decided that I wanna. Saturday nights are for indulging, indulging, and eating, you know, chocolate cake or whatever, and. Um, Everything that is not Saturday night, I'm not going to touch neither sugar nor gluten. No Sunday, no random thing in the day, nothing, no sugar, no gluten, zero. No tolerance line, except Saturday nights where I can go all fucking out. And so I had a, some popcorn, we watched a movie... I had some brownie with ice cream and I had like a local dessert thing spread across the night, okay? I didn't throw up. I might though. 
yeah. And now I'm gonna go to bed. Gonna go to bed. And I actually didn't drink coffee today. Holy shit, how crazy is that? How crazy is that? Because today's Saturday, which means I could drink coffee again today because today marks the day of me not drinking coffee for two weeks. But for some reason, I didn't feel like it. Didn't need it, didn't want it, didn't feel like it, didn't crave it. And um, I actually listened to myself and therefore did not drink coffee. Even though I already planted that thought in my head for now two or three days, knowing that today is the day where I can finally drink coffee again. But I didn't. So, but I'm probably going to drink tomorrow. Sure. I'm excited for that. Okay. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. See you tomorrow. And peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate to love. But why not? Holy shit. I just wanna make a trip to the child.